Good evening. I'm Erin Becker, Director of the Cambridge Art Association, and this is Creative Process. This month, we are meeting with Community Arts Director Julie Berry and Cambridge Open Studios Coordinator Kelsey Broderson to talk about Cambridge Open Studios, which is coming up soon. So welcome, Julie and Kelsey. Thank you very much for having us. Tell us a little bit about Open Studios. Sure. So uh, Cambridge Open Studios has been a long time uh, tradition in Cambridge, mm -hmm. in both the Cambridge Port and the North Cambridge neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. And several years back, we were approached by both of those neighborhoods and asked to take on some of the administrative roles for Open Studios to mm -hmm. make it a little bit easier for their uh, community members. and. So the Cambridge Arts Council has now become sort of the, the figurehead for Open Studios in Cambridge. Mm -hmm. And we are um, going to be celebrating our eighth annual Cambridge Open Studios this year, which we're very excited about. Yeah. Uh, and it'll take place on May uh, Saturday, May 14th, and Sunday, May 15th, from noon until 6 p.m. throughout the city. It's now a citywide event open to all artists, um, either living, working, or having a studio space here in Cambridge. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. And so how can we find out more information? Are there pamphlets or flyers? Is there a website? Sure. Um, actually, fresh off the presses, we have our Open Studios brochures that you'll mm -hmm. see at various locations throughout the city. Um, also, really the best place to get the most information is to go to our website. So that's mm -hmm. cambridgearts.org. Um, .gov, right? Excuse me? CambridgeArtsCouncil.org. Oh, I forgot the yeah. council. <laughs> Forgive me. Um, you'll be able to find a lot of information about Open Studios. We have interactive maps as well as a link to our brand new uh, app that we're using called Yonward, oh. which is a really cool uh, map interactive guide to use and be able to find all of the studios as you're near them. If you use your GPS on your phone, mm -hmm. you can figure out what's around you and how to get to them and uh, view the artist's work as well through the app. Cool. And is that free? It is, absolutely. So if you go to www.yonward.com, Y-O-N-W-A-R-D, it's a new app, mm -hmm. um, that'll get you all the information about the app. It's also available on the uh, App Store. On iTunes. Nice. And how many artists participate in Open Studios, or how many are participating this year? This year we have over 80 venues uh, throughout Cambridge that are going to be participating with about 175 artists total. So some of those wow. venues showcase uh, 15 to 20 artists each. Uh, some of them are smaller and in individual studios, so you get to see the artists working in their own home, in their own studio space. And then we also have common venues uh, such as Cambridge College and some of the other um, Leslie University is participating as a common venue where we'll have a, a group of artists showing in one location. Okay, so you can probably see, you know, a great selection of things to go to a common absolutely, venue. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Another opportunity for some amazing see, a preview of what Open Studios has to offer uh, is the Open Studios Showcase that we're going to be mm -hmm. having on uh, May 12th at the Cambridge Art Association. Yeah. going to be hosted by yourself, yeah. uh, which will be great. It'll be 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and mm -hmm. it's open to everybody in one piece from each of our participating artists will be installed in that show, so you get an wow. excellent preview of what Open Studios has to offer. So 175 artists? I feel a little pressure here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a great show, though. Excellent, excellent. And um, there's maps on the website and things like that Correct. to access. Correct. Yeah, um, we have an a interactive map online, as mm -hmm. well as, like I said, the app as well, and the mm -hmm. brochures have all the information you'll need as well. And how many visitors uh, visit Cambridge Open Studios annually? It's kind of hard to track, yeah. uh, but we do see an average by asking our artists how many visitors they get mm -hmm. and sort of pooling that information. Mm -hmm. We're thinking around 3,000 people make it to all of the individual studios throughout the weekend. That's a lot. So, yeah, it's wow. a great. Congratulations. Great. And it's really kind of the, the beginning of lots of open studios weekends happening it in is. this area with Cambridge and Somerville and I think like West Newton and I keep on getting things in the mail about different open and studios. SOA in Boston has some open studios that are yeah. happening also around this time. Yeah, so, so it's an important chance for for the public to be able to connect directly with artists, either working in their studios or in a common space, but really getting to see a lot of their artwork. And the most important part is meeting the artists in person, which is very exciting. We have some artists that are going to join us shortly um, and talk about their artwork with us. Gentlemen, if you want to introduce yourselves. <clears throat> Go ahead. Oh, I'm Shin Meng, uh, and I live in the Harvard Square area, and I do uh, graffiti-inspired uh, art. Cool. 
My name is Mahmoud Rezaik Malabat. I have a auto repair shop back of the Freshman Cinema, Apple Cinema, mm -hmm. called Aladdin Auto Service, and I do the artwork. Excellent. And Mahmoud, I'm not going to try and say your last name. I know you. <laughs> the reason you ask me. Yeah. But <laughs> I we have. Introduce myself. You guys are going to both talk about your artwork, but we also have some great examples of your artwork. Yeah. So the public can get a little taste of what their artwork looks like, and then you can come visit at Open Studios and see even more of what you do. Mm -hmm. So, Mahmoud, if you can tell us. This is you. What's this going is on a here? one piece uh, because uh, I work on the sense of unity mm -hmm. in religion and healing processing. And because I to become American citizen and my wife she's American and my kids are American citizen. So when I see the people they're burning the American flag, I did not like it. So I work on this project close to three years mm -hmm. to creating the some American flag, which will be holy. So I put the. Uh, written on the that one, it says, God is only one. Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad came from the God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the, I make the American flag holy. No one can burn it. Wow. So okay. that's, that's the idea of this one project. Okay, and then here's another piece of yours. Here, uh, I put the uh, three books together, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, mm -hmm. because last 35 years, I worked for unity of the religion, and I explained the, is a one body, one spirit, and the human body has a physical development and a spirituality development, and this development created a different religion during the history of the human civilization. Wow. So all of them, they are connected and they have a relationship. So I try to bring the idea from the Sumerian mm -hmm. to Judaism, to Christianity, and to the Islam. And what sort of materials are you using here? I, uh, that's the holy book. Mm -hmm. I have uh, 12 copies, mm -hmm. uh, which is seven of those is in all over the world. It's a Vatican, Library of Congress, uh, National Library of Israel, Saudi Arabia, Iran, and one is in the Canuck in the North wow. Greenland. So wow. that's a continue after this project is that I'm working to open the Eastern Gate in Jerusalem. Oh. So to create uh, that uh, truth of the unity between all the other religion. Wow. I'm working on this project for 35 years. That's amazing. <laughs> These are the kinds of stories I love to hear. All yeah. right, and then, then, then this piece. This piece idea, of the, again, in the center of that one is the Sumerian symbol. And uh, around that one is the rotation of the hemisphere between the south and north, different pattern. Mm -hmm. And the seven days of the creation is a idea of the, this hand is the seven fingers, idea of the right hemisphere and left hemisphere overlapping each other. Mm -hmm. So the idea of the human suffering is because the human is not able to understand in the spirituality mm -hmm. because there are two hemispheres. Mm -hmm. So these two hemispheres, they have to come together and to become one through each individual. So when you have a wahdat or the unity within yourself, you are able to have that the unity to the society and to the family and to everyone. And this is a pretty large piece. This is the smallest piece. Really? I, I have a piece from this size to the 18 feet tall to the 2,000 two tons. Wow. Yeah. So if someone wants to come to your studio and buy it your is, artwork, they should probably bring like a big tree. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> crane, crane. Crane. Oh, crane. Right. Wow. I have a fork left too. But uh, uh, usually my gallery is open every day from mm -hmm. 9 to 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And we offer the tea. Uh, some fruit and some sweetness, but I enjoy the open, uh, Cambridge Open Studio because it's very good for me mm -hmm. and give me an opportunity to bring the unusual people with the advertising of the city of Cambridge mm -hmm. to come to see my work. And how many years have you participated in Cambridge Open Studios? I used to do it with the North Cambridge mm -hmm. and after I to become with this uh, group and mm -hmm. um, this is the eight years. Wow, yeah. congrats. Wow. I think you. we have a couple more pieces from you. Wow. Perhaps. No. <laughs> yeah. This one, this one is one of yours, I think. This is um Is the this is you limitize the my thirty five years of work in a couple of minutes. No. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a fair. This is the machine I made for We only have a couple of minutes. <laughs> This, this is the machine I made for human body because wow. human body is a two part with a rotated one right to the left and left to the right. Uh -huh. And that these two motions creating confusion between the brain and the body. Right. So by putting the human, give the orbiting to the body, the human is able to understanding realization of the disorbiting of the a spherical movement to the body, which yeah. because body was based, uh, was made based of the movement. Mm -hmm. 
So this movement, this uh, space is act as a spirit of the God mm -hmm. and the matter as a body of the God. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you have a small atom particle, you want it to be exist, it has to have a space to exist. Yeah. If it's not a space, it's not the existence of any matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a spirit of the God is a space and the matter and all the matter is orbiting in the space to mm -hmm. gain the balancing. So I bring that atom to the movement of the body to create the balance to the interior body. Wow. wow. Because by the generation of offspring of the human, in originality of the human is losing yeah. that movement within the body and cause a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. Because you forgot, the body is able to forget the, how the, this movement was originally to create the form of the human body. Yeah. So we are able to bring it back, that information, and the body is able to realize and come to the balancing stage. Wow. You look this one, this one, it takes wow. 18 years to finish it. Wow. wow. Yeah. And that is life size. That's a life size. I wow. had a small one, but that's a life size, yes. That's great. That's amazing. And it cost me 270 bucks. Wow. $270,000. Wow. And oh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait. That's $270,000. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and these look like some of your larger ones. Yeah, this is one larger one. That's the, one of them is the, the left side is the tallest, is 18 feet. It says God is only one. It's related to the number 12. Okay. And the number 12 is the holy in the Judaism, Christianity, mm -hmm. and Islam. And when in Islam, when you said God is only one, is a 12 letter. Mm -hmm. And when you said Muhammad is the messenger of God, is a 12 letter. So that one is related to the number 12. Wow. And the uh, uh, next one is the, sun, is the moon, star of David and the cross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the next to it is the related to the North Star. And I believe North Star is a guiding to the heaven. Yeah. And is the only focal point for human to bring healing for unity, to observe the healing. No source, no focal point can be on the surface of the earth as a, a focal point for healing mm -hmm. because uh, people that are close to that source to become discriminating, the people that are far away, controlling, and the North Star, no one can touch it, no one can control it. Yeah. It's a completely freedom of the focal point for spirituality. Wow. Mm. Wow. Those are beautiful. And you, and do, you have a, an assistant that helps you with some of this stuff, or is this all? You must yeah. be really strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at That's a power. Yeah. 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 God is the yes. power. That is beautiful. So you do it by yourself? Okay. By him. All right. Yeah. All right. Wow. What? No oh, one can deny. We still have a couple more of yours. Yeah, is, is, Kelsey uh, loaded up a lot of I have of a lot of work. You do. <laughs> There's a lot of things available. Um, let's, let's discuss these. Now, these look like they're also outside. Okay. This is the, the right side is the cross is a star of David and is written Arabic Allah within the system in the oh. things and the, this on this one they called sun because the idea of the three fate i was trying to bring them together in balanced form and they created this form wow and the shadows are all yeah they really create a beautiful, beautiful shadow my work is that you can uh, is a 3d but when i start to work on the 3d i did not want to put it in the middle of the area of people they need to go to surround it. Mm -hmm. So I used a very thick steel, but the steel you can put on the side. Mm -hmm. It created a very good view because a lot of my work has a written on it. Mm -hmm. And there's a light when it goes through that one. You can see all the writing is on the wall with a white, literally. with a light. Yeah, literally, literally the writing yes. is on the wall. And so it's a negative positive image. So I worked with it, this can be on the side of the building without, but the steel is a 3D. Beautiful. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, please go ahead with him. I don't think you have time. <laughs> no, that's okay. We're oh. just gonna we'll click we'll quickly um, click through these because these are some other examples. Yeah, th this but... stuff is outside. Everybody, they can come and look at it. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Okay, this is inside of the gallery. Yeah. 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 I need to get some tea from you. Then uh, uh, that's my hat making machine. I designed the hat. That's a key for heaven. It says love oh. is a L O V E. Wow. You see, because wow. when you said I love you, L is the first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love. <Yeah. laughs> Entering. Okay. And this is some of my art. So we're just oh, going to no, no. switch back. So we'll just yeah. switch back to our view. Yeah. Amazing. I'm going to yeah. come visit you. It's not amazing. Please welcome. Tea is ready it's always. Beautiful. You're welcome. Thank you. Very beautiful. Yeah. And I encourage everyone to go and stop by your studio. And we'll have a moment. For you can you can give the address. People so know exactly where to go. Behind the cinema is very easy. Behind the cinema. Fresh they go pond. to see the movie. And yeah. after they come to see my work. Excellent. And do you know what they remember after that? Only my work, work. Not the movie. And then they can take <laughs> take a walk around down in the park and then exactly. you know yeah, soak that's, some that's, nature while they yeah, absorb true, everything that true, they just true. saw all right so we're gonna Good job. yeah so our next artist yeah. 
Uh, this is very different. <laughs> uh, uh, very different. Um, so this is a, actually a commission piece. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a friend of uh, mine, uh, Julian Reed, and his wife Carmen uh, okay. Reed. They, 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 it was their, uh, uh, their uh, for their wedding gift. They mm -hmm. wanted an art, original art piece, so I decided to draw uh, an art piece for them. Basically, it's uh, Julian is a very he's he's kind of like Spock. He's very mm -hmm. smart, very intelligent. Thinks through his head with mm -hmm. his head, and so his wife also kind of like their mind kind of melt together and they they oftentimes like like finish their their uh, their sentences mm -hmm. and all that stuff so it's really fun to to actually be a part of their lives and also to see that uh, see my art grow mm -hmm. um, in their relationship as, together so it was like uh, I was uh, I didn't draw for about eight years mm -hmm. and uh, this has been about a five, six year journey yeah. since so uh, my friend Julian and, and Carmen have been a part of that for a very long time, since the nice. very beginning. So do you do a lot of commissions and things like that? Or was that kind of what helped get you started again? It, it, help, it, it, it helps pay some of the bills. Let's okay, just put it like that. Enough. But um, it's not, not, uh, not everything is, is uh, commission based. Mm -hmm. But it, some, some friends want commission pieces, so mm -hmm. I, I love doing that for people. And that's a really special gift to be able to give to someone, something that's really made just for them. So yeah. Especially with like wedding season coming up. And exactly. All so if you guys, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you're visiting open studios and you think, man, I need a really great wedding gift this is your man <laughs> um so we're gonna click over so you have some other portraits do you primarily work with portraiture yeah okay. um so uh as a little kid uh growing up in the states it, comic books were really big for mm -hmm. me so uh my first comic book was x-men Unc uncanny x-men from night number one 1992 by okay. jim lee and i was a little kid and i just wanted to be a uh like just basically a uh, comic book artist okay. but that didn't really happen, and I did a lot of different uh, other work, like work for the USPS and mm -hmm. uh, being a mailman and working at a nail salon and doing yeah. all these other. Oh, well, that's a lot of different. You've had a lot of different careers. A lot, a lot of different careers in my life as a 34-year-old. But in any case, uh, this piece, uh, I just wanted to dive into uh, painting a little bit. I didn't mm -hmm. know the difference between uh, acrylic and acrylic pigment, so. My <laughs> I just started painting and I decided just to paint it one day and yeah. uh, it, it's just everything comes from my mind uh, mm -hmm. so I don't really think about um, oh like this th like it's this style or that style but it's just been a, a fun process for me to to draw mm -hmm. and this p art piece is called uh, thunderstorms and uh, um, it's it's and, kind of. Uh, and this is all. This is an acrylic as well. No, this is not. This is a watercolor painting. Okay. Um, and I actually used my breath to actually push the paint all around. I almost got heat stroke from it once. Wow. Drawing it on the painting. How, out big, how big is that? It's not very big. Okay. It's, <laughs> it's not very big. I, it's uh, um, nine nine by twelve okay. inches, not feet. <laughs> okay. Um, and, and so, are you just like saturating the paper and then? Yep. Okay. And then just letting it drop. So yeah. that I'm letting the, I uh, I painted the, the the background first, and then from the top of the paint where the purples and blues are, I started uh, ex saturating with a lot of water and uh -huh. a lot of pigment and of of the paint, and then letting it drop. And as it's dropping with through gravity, I'm pushing it with my breath. Wow. Um, and this piece is actually uh, kind of the eight years of of, of desert mm -hmm. uh, of my life, and actually giving up art for eight years and mm -hmm. saying I'm not no longer an artist, and this is kind of like the uh, welcome back shin like this is like an outpouring of my creativity back onto a page yeah. um and my parents they they're they're great people they just didn't understand fully about my art and uh i'm thankful that they're behind me they actually purchased this piece um as like you know like good job shin and um they actually purchased it at the I think the last open studios um, and uh, they were there they bought two art pieces uh, of mine one of my largest pieces and also that piece that mm -hmm. you saw um, my parents have been it's just been a long journey but mm -hmm. I mean man they've come a long way and I love them so much yeah, yeah. Well, having a supportive a support system is really key to being an artist and yeah. I'm sure that you have a wonderful support system as well I no one didn't buy it. my work because <laughs> they can't pick it up <laughs> too heavy. <laughs> My youngest girl, she said to me, Baba, make them a small one. Yeah. <laughs> small one. I, I, I buy one. one. <laughs> yeah. My work is not ready for sale yet, yeah. I believe, because I have a very deep philosophy for work, mm -hmm. and I'm interested to change something in the life. Mm -hmm. So if he's able to be changed, it's yeah. maybe it's worth it after my work, of the 
my own philosophy, but if it did not work, it's not really important. Mm. Yeah. The idea is that how we can change a society to the better way. Yeah. And better uh, relationship. That's my idea. That's a powerful idea. Mm. That's an important idea. Uh, it's, it's last 35 years, still yeah. I'm digging. The next 35 years. Still I'm digging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where's the water. <laughs> It'll come there. soon. It'll it's come there. soon. It'll come soon. It's there. All right, we have a couple more pieces to look at. So yeah. we'll switch right back. Now, this looks like pen and ink. Yeah, this is. Uh, uh, this was finished in within seven minutes. Uh, this okay. was. Uh, I was listening to. Uh, I love the the. I love listening to jazz while actually drawing, and mm -hmm. so I was listening to John Coltrane. Uh, I forget which this which song, but mm -hmm. it, I was listening to it next to a friend. Actually, uh, Julian, uh, he was he was studying next to me, and I was just drawing away, mm -hmm. and we were listening to jazz. And um, I finished this piece in seven minutes. But it, this was actually also uh, sold at uh, Open Studios. A lot of I, I really promote my uh, art pieces at Open Studios, and thanks to Julie Berry and Kelsey and, and and the folks at Cambridge Open Studios. I mean, they've been fantastic. I I. Um, I actually make a large portion of my income at the Open Studios. Mm -hmm. uh, I love it, uh, just the, how I get to meet other artists there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad to meet this guy over here, yeah. and just the more and more getting to be connected with so many more artists, and especially even hanging out with some folks at the, um, just the setting up of the whole Open Studios. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I recognize some faces and uh, greeting them as old friends, and mm -hmm. it's just been great. I've just loved the, community of the open studios yeah. and so which common venue are you showing in this year this year I'm uh, showing at uh, Cambridge College uh, 1000 nice. Mass Ave right down the street right down the street Cambridge that community way community television yeah. excellent um, I'm just gonna go push back and we can look through a couple more of your pieces we just have yeah. a few moments left yeah. um, this one I, I've just uh, I just used uh, India ink, and mm -hmm. uh, I have a bamboo pen. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a calligraphy pen that I actually is sharpened or dull, uh, depending on how I feel that day. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, this piece was, uh, I think this was right after um, maybe a shooting in, uh, in, in, I think, Chicago, and I was mm -hmm. just very upset. And uh, I have a lot of friends uh, that are black and in, are in the black community, and I just, my heart just was pouring out that day. Uh, this is just on a just standard uh, uh, newsprint, but I thought it was just one of those pieces that for me, uh, my heart really just showed uh, the confusion, the pain, and and just, uh, and if you can just tell, there's actually a face in the midst of the chaos, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and there's a tear uh, coming down that's uh, uh, to the right, it's a, a straight line. Oh, yeah. um, and so it, it was just this confusing point in my life that, and sadness that over overcame me that yeah. And if you follow my Instagram, uh, yeah, uh, you, it's uh, one of the hashtags I use is art. Art is my process, um, yeah. and it's how I process my emotions. It's very one. Of, uh, it's one of those things for me. Uh, as a kid who has has gone through a lot, mm -hmm. um, I, I feel uh, as if um, my my art is the way that I can express how I'm feeling and, and then eventually put into words and talk to people because it's, it's, it's quite difficult at times. Yeah, and I think both of you are really working to express something that is much bigger than just, you know, the visual medium through your no artwork. No one cares so about important. my feeling. <laughs> of course we do. Of course we do. We do. So, come to Cambridge Open Studios. It's May 14th and 15th, all over Cambridge. Um, if you visit the Cambridge Arts Council website, you can learn more and learn more about the Yonward app that you can download. I also encourage you to come to our opening party on May 12th. It's from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Catherine Schultz Gallery at 25 Lowell Street. We'll have drinks and snacks, and we'll celebrate all of the artists. All how many, Julie? 175 All 175 local artists that are part of Cambridge Open Studios. Thank you for watching Creative Press.